Is there anything more manly in life than going to German Fest? Think about it. Germany is known for its amazing cars like the Mercedes Benz, the BMW, the Volkswagen, the Audi. It's also known for its wonderful musicians like Beethoven, Bach, Handel, Hans Zimmer. And they're known for their popular beers like Pilsner, Bach, Lowenbrau. Of course, they do also have the worst sausage. There's bratwurst, liverwurst, currywurst. What do you think? Come on, make me hungry. Hey guys, Robbie Sondag here with a little godly advice for living a more meaningful life. Well, to an outsider, a festival like German Fest may appear rather strange. At the very least, it poses some interesting questions. For example, what's with the goofy looking hats? And why are they wearing these strange looking shorts with the funny suspenders? And why are they playing these long wooden horns? And what's with the over fascination of the beer drinking out of mugs known as steins with lids on the top of them? It doesn't seem like normal behavior to me, at least not in my world. I just don't understand. But in their world, it makes complete sense, even to the point of celebrating. The same could be said about those who have yet to embrace Jesus. They look at Christ followers and they just don't understand. All these questions like what's with all the singing and the praying and the hand raising? And why are you going to church so often? And what's with your over fascination with the Bible? And why such weird words like sanctify and consecrate and crazy phrases like the lamb that was slain and being washed by the blood? I mean, it just doesn't seem like normal behavior. Yet, to the German culture, or really any culture, if you don't understand the story behind it all, it can appear rather foolish. Of course, Christianity has a story behind it that applies to all humanity, not just those of the German descent. There was a prophet from the past named Jeremiah who also called something else foolish. It was those who have eyes but don't see, and those who have ears yet do not hear. Proverbs 28.5 says, Evildoers do not understand what is right, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. If you're not seeking the Lord or growing in your faith, Christianity can appear as strange as a foreign language. But if your heart is surrendered and you're into the Word, your understanding will grow, even to the point of celebration. So yes, there is something more manly in life than going to German Fest. It's celebrating the one true God who brings eternal life. And that's called making the best out of the worst. Get it? Prop worse. Hey, if you'd like a weekly dose of humor, truth, and encouragement, go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe box and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And make sure to check out this week's bonus video where we will learn a little bit about the German language. And we will see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments.